Shalom, Shalom, Rastafari. We got to begin somewhere, and we're going to begin right here. We're still in the 44th um, Devarim, the Orit Zedagim. Um, and you see where we have order here, we have organization, we have 40 years here. Because of the content matter in this. Now, when we post up, we said Jah's words. I think the first part was about Jah's words, how his words are part of that foundational, you understand, that foundational um, building on Christ, building on the foundation. And we know that this portion here is after 40 years, a whole generation. There was a whole generation of Israelites whom the Lord, or Adonai, Adonai had brought them out. But because of their disobedience, he could not bring them in. You know what I'm saying? He could not bring them in. So, so we have a whole generation, even Moses, Mashu, or Musa, the head of the fraternal order of the Beit Israel, he also is about to pass away. I think there's another battle coming up, but he's already told that he's not going to make it in. His, his brother, um, Aaron and Miriam, who were very, very important in that earlier stage. Now, th now, there's a message here for I and I as Rastafari. There's a very important message for I and I as Rastafari. If we would make our wills obedient to his good influence, if we would study and show I and I selves approved, if we would submit to his gospel, to the Wengel, to the good news, the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getachin Na, Medchanetachin, Yesus Christos. Now, the first thing we want to actually speak on, actually, and, and, and since, since it's on I and I mind, let us touch on this aspect, because a lot of y'all, you know, a lot of us too, but probably more of y'all are talking on this particular issue of um, Snoop Doggy Dog or, quote, name change. He says he has a name change. All right. He says Snoop Lion. And Snoop Lion, you know, like the lion or lions, you know. Well, this, this is very interesting. Some say, well, he's went down to Jamaica. We've seen a documentary of a video of, quote, Snoop Lion down in Jamaica in the bingy house. Um, I think they, they had a couple of bingies, and he's doing a documentary. He says uh, Snoop Lion, so this will be part of our commentary in the 44, or the 4-4, uh, um, in the Devarim, which is interesting because Obama, you know, is the 44th president. This is 2012. An election is coming up. Um, there's a whole bunch of signs of the times. There's the Mayan calendar, so forth and so on. And we've just uh, com completed the translation of this right here. Let that be light. This right here, the Ficare Iesus. We can call this, for lack of a better word, or lack of a better um, description, it's like the Ethiopic um, Nostradamus, so to speak. And this is one of the last books published um, by Keramawi Haile Shalase before his ascension to Abba Kedus, right, to um, that prophetic fulfillment of this prophetic Right here. Now, this is, um, as you can see right here, you say, Bergarmawi Nagusa Nagas. You see that right up here. You'll see, and this is actually it's very interesting that we found this particular book. We thank our mother in law for bringing this copy for I and I. It's a small book. In fact, in Revelation, it speaks about there's a, there's a small book, there's a little book. And truly, in the, though much of this is biblical, it's basically, Fikare means a explication. Uh, exposition, um, like a revelation, interpretation, but in the sense of an exposition, exegesis, so forth, and um, so on, or, or even to say exposed, right? Exposed. So it's Christ's words illuminating the prophetical, and those involved in this particular production, such as Gurmawi Nagusa Nagas, Kedamawi Haila Shalase, our Godfather and King of Kings. This is one of the last works that was published circa 1973. Now, that's also very prophetic because Ethiopia, in that particular prophetic time, was about to experience what um, Brother Asifa uh, Defris uh, wrote about right here um, 
the betrayal of Ethiopia. Ethiopia was about to be betrayed. All right, you see his majesty and Kennedy, you understand, and Eisenhower. He told Eisenhower about the military-industrial complex. He warned Kennedy as well of what was going on. He even spoke to this Roosevelt, this Roosevelt guy, although they never show you that. They show you Churchill and Stalin. But then he had to meet his majesty one-on-one -on -one because, you know, Africa is our particular portion for the seed people, right? So this is a very, very good book right here. You understand? And this is where we get the phrase, um, you know, biting the hand. You understand? The Ethiopians bit the hand that fed them, the careless Ethiopians. So 12 tribes, not 12 tribes of Israel organization, Rastafari organization, but for I and I, um, black Hebrew Israelites, you understand? Y'all are right in the sense of God's word and prophecy. Y'all need to get up on the fullness of who the king of kings, who Kedamawi Haile Selassie is to I and I in that prophetic, because all of I and I forefathers, now some of this is a message to Afro-Americans, too. We're going to touch on the Fikari Yesus. Many have been asking, when are we going to have this book out? And it's just about ready. You understand as far as we finish the translation. But because that prophetic word in Revelation says that um, it's sweet to your mouth. The words are like sweet in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? But it's bitter to the belly. Because you see that what we see now that we've translated this, that a lot of things have already happened. And we're in that time. Even this heat wave. It's talking about what's going on. And the highlight of the news, basically, is like this prophetic word right here. You know what I'm saying? This little book. You know what I'm saying? So this little book would be, would be given. Now, many might have thought that this book, or the Met of Kedus, the Book of the Seven Seals, or in this form, and Jah willing, we will be able to distribute, you know what I'm saying, to those who have, who have put monies forward for the Met of Kedus. You understand, and others who have been asking and inquiring, Jah willing, in the next couple of weeks, ja, and this is by Jah's will, you understand, we'll get more copies of the Book of the Seven Seals, right? The Book of the Seven Seals, the Metzahafik Edus, right? And remember, Revelation 5 5, it identifies the Book of the Seven Seals, the Metzahafik Edus, with this particular king, right? The king who would be. Moa on Bessa, the Imanegeta Yehuda, who would be of that root and offspring of great King David. This is the foundation of the true African and Sion, the African Zion. Now, some may say, well, if you clicked on this vid and we put Snoop Lion in it, you'd be like, well, what does it have to do with Snoop, doggy dog, quote, end quote, strike out Snoop Lion? You understand? Know How does that have to do with Snoop Lion? Well, it's, it's what we've been hearing. Now, first of all, for any African-American in this present time, seeing how much has been done to confuse, hoodwink, bamboozle, and bewilder, we as Judahites, remember it says that Judah, Yehuda, and I'm speaking of so-called American, African-American Negro, you know what I'm saying, is Jah, is Yahweh's backle axe. But if the axe is dull, you understand, if the head has been knocked off the axe, I mean, you can't do so much with that stick thinking you have an axe head up there, you knocked it off. So that's part of the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, you understand, going down to Egypt, getting caught up in this bling bling and all other sort of things. Now, to hear that Snoop Lion, as he call, calleth himself, you understand, is, um, as he say, citing um, Ras Teferi, you understand, or citing up Rastafari. Now, on what level, to what degree, so forth and so on, we don't know. One thing we tell I and I, brothers and sisters, all of I and I, Wendemoch and Chitoch, is, is do not judge something, do not judge these things prematurely, or do not allow prejudice. Don't judge it before it's time. That doesn't mean you, you're not weighing and balancing things. But don't get to a point of either immediate condemnation or an immediate acquittal, you understand, while things are still being weighed and balanced. You see, so we went around to some, like the Facebook site and some, of, some personal persons or ones that we know a little more um, personally have kind of reasoned with I and I on, well, what you think, uh, 
you know, and, and they're like, well, how he can never, ever be. So I'm like, who are you? You know what I mean? And who are you to say that, well, what he used to be doing and he used to be, you know, he made uh, these records and he been he did the pimping and maybe the prostitution, or at least cinematographically, you know what I'm saying, quote, end quote. You know what I'm saying? And actually, I have to say, I, I've seen some of these things. What, you're going to firebomb me too? Oh, firebomb, you're not supposed to? Okay, whatever. See, this is why it's a teaching of his imperial majesty, the gospel of Haile Selassie, and not the gospel of some Rasta. It's not the gospel of some Rasta. This is the gospel of Rastafari. You understand? This is not the gospel of the so-called head creator. This is the gospel of the head to be reverenced, the head to be respected, or the head to be feared. Because maybe some of y'all can understand it better like that. So be it. All right? So um, on the Snoop Lion question, um, we cannot judge something before its time. The main question, or the main thing that we as Rastafari, if we can be united, we should be more than not united, you understand, or come to a common unity about how we address this particular subject matter and we address this particular issue. Um, yes, Snoop said some things that theologically speaking, we've talked on this reincarnation philosophy, emanation philosophy, that's what Haile Selassie taught us, that's what he warned us in that particular Canadian interview speech. But what we should be asking is, not how do you feel about Rasta, or what even how you feel about Ethiopia or Africa or black this, black that, or black and they, black and they, black and they, black and they, black. What we should be asking really is, what do you say? In other words, what is your opinion about and concerning Edamawi Haile Selassie? I mean, it's one thing for Snoop Lion to say, okay, I'm a reincarnation of, or he feels a connection with um, Burhana. Uh, Shalase or Burhana Shalase, a.k.a. Robert Nesta Marley, a.k.a. Bob Marley. He feels a connection with Bob Marley. He says he feels like the reincarnation. He's the reincarnation of Bob Marley. So, even though we know that theologically speaking, you know, we don't really have um, reincarnation philosophy. That was sealed up. You know what I'm saying? When our black Lord and Savior conquered the heavens and the earth, you know, in the gospel of Matthew um, chapter 28, he says all power, you know what I'm saying, all power, all authority has been given, you know what I'm saying, authorization in heaven and on earth. But we're living in this world system. You see, this world system we're living in is controlled by diablos, Satan, Amen. Amen. And all the righteous says, Amen, that cursed be he. You know what I'm saying? And there's something else a lot of you don't, might not know. Look it up on the Internet. <sighs> it it, it kind of hurts me to even say this. Not hurts, but, you know, don't really like but, but it's the reality. See, so it's not about how we feel about it. It's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been telling some of the brothers and sisters, you've got to curb your enthusiasm. Just like curbing your dog. If you have a dog... Don't let the dog do whatever it wants. You have to say, come over here, Ubu, Ubu, or whatever the nickname or whatever doggy name it is, and have it shit on the side and clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Curb your, why does somebody else have to walk in your shit? You know what I'm saying? Because you have some emotion, what I feel, what I feel. You know, about any particular situation, all of us can have feelings about it, but it does not change the truth of the matter. Oh, you like to go to the ancients, the ancient wisdom, ancient Egypt? Well, the ancient Egyptians even said, and this is truism, you understand that um, feelings make for um, good servants, but poor masters. Your feelings serve you. You should not serve your feeling. This is why the teachings, the gospel, the king of kings is not just for Snoop lying, but it's for a lot of these rosters out there who are lying. You understand? So we don't know what impression of Rastafari he has so far, maybe by the time we publish this, maybe he would have given an interview or somebody would have asked him something, or maybe he has already said something concerning Rasta, Rastafari, Ethiopia, or whatever level. What, 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 what I and I is most concerned about, but we don't worry about this because we know that all things work towards the good of those who love Jah. Rastafari, and who are called according to his purpose. 
So whether it's a Snoop line or it's other ones and ones who might not be as famous or well known as Snoop Lion, and they creep into Rasta and Rastafari and Rastaism, and they come in with some diverse doctrine or whatnot, like many have already crept in unawares, they're going to be burnt out. They're not going to be acceptable with the King of Kings or his Christ. How do we know it? Because the Word tells us the testimony of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, the gospel of his majesty tells I and I so. And, and therefore, there's no need for, you know, mixed up moods and attitudes. I mean, I, there were some folks that we were reasoning with who got so emotional it was crazy. Even they say, well, what, well, Snoop, could, you know, he could check out Rasta, Rastafari, whatever like that, but he needs to take off the red, gold, green cap. Are you sick? Are you ridiculous? You know, what some are thinking that it's because, well, he, he smokes marijuana, that's okay, right? He smokes weed or herb and he promotes that. Well, that's okay on that level, right? Because you like to get high too, right? But he puts a, a red, gold, green cap on, you <laughs> Excuse me, my people. He puts a cap on, and you say, oh, well, he has to take that cap on. Because, no, 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 you don't say cap. A lot of you say crown. You know, Ayabingi, those who have ridden Ayabingi, you know, they say, fly off false crowns. All false crowns. In other words, take off what you call a cap, you call a tam, whatever. Take it off, except for the dog to them. You understand? And, and that's, that's the, is the scriptural. So what we want to know concerning Snoop Lion, before we can even... You understand? Um, we're still in deliberation. The jury is still deliberating. You understand? Know Concerning the Snoop Lion question is, what do Snoop Lion? What does Snoop Lion, who claimed to be a reincarnation of um, Bob Marley? In other words, he's saying he's in the spirit, or he feels that the spirit of Bob Marley is an inspiration um, to him on some level or another that he needs to either articulate or demonstrate. Well, then we know how the real or the manifest Bob Marley, what he thought, what he felt, what he believed, what he knew, what he declared concerning Kedamawi Haile Shalase, concerning Haile Selassie the first. So that would be a very good test. But see, a lot of you are still, you know, because you haven't studied and show yourself to prove, my brothers and sisters. I mean, I still accept the I, them as I, I and I brothers and sisters even if ones are not on a certain level, because you have to remember what the gospel, what the good news of his majesty is all about. See, I mean, there's a certain point where we get to excommunication, where there's really no need to communicate, where, where you know I mean? But that's not on that level right now. You understand? We have to study and show I and I selves approved. So hopefully we can um, hit I and I um, Afro-American uh, musician, singer, artist, Snoop Lion with a copy of this as well, with the good news of his imperial majesty, the gospel of him. And we decided as well to show some other books that we find to be very instructive. If, if he is serious, this is if Snoop Lion is truly serious and he is not like, um, you know, like the whole um, dialectics, you know, not like a, a wolf in sheep clothing. Like a lot of people saying, well, he is a wolf in sheep clothing because look what he was doing. And, and they're, they're trying to tell us that in their minds, in their little feeble minds, the grace of his majesty in his Christ, the black Christ, the black Moshiach, right? Getachin, Medhanatachin, Jesus Christos, Yeshua Ha Moshiach, is so petty that, in other words, they're saying that they've come live the life because, you know, we heard one person say he got money because of the money he made. <laughs> so you begin to see what it's really about. You know, they, 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 they're having us look at Snoop Lion and saying, oh, we need to worry about... No, I'm saying, I don't need to worry about him. You know, there, there's some questions that we should be more united in our putting forward, namely, what do you think, know, feel, or, or what is your opinion, actually? Right? What is your opinion? And there was any statements on the roots of Rastafari? Do you know about the roots of Rasta? And we're not talking about Jamaica, bro. Not, I mean, Jamaica is a part of that diaspora. But see, a lot of folks think that Rastafari, in a sense, begins in Jamaica. You understand? No. No, it doesn't. 
it begins in Ethiopia. It, it originates in Ethiopia and has deep, 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 deep roots, my brothers and sisters, in the Bible, in, in, in prophecy, and in the root of our own um, identity as once lost but now found Beta Israel. You know because we as the so-called black people, Negroes, blacks, and coloreds, under so-called artificial 13th and 14th Amendment status or whatever like that, that whole, that whole crapola that was done. We're Ethiopians. The Snoop Lion recognized that really, though we've been called Afro-Americans, Negroes, blacks, and colors, that we're truly Ethiopian. Does Snoop Lion recognize that we are Hebrews? You understand? The Snoop Lion recognizes, you understand, these important facts that, that are the roots of true Rastafari. It should be about that, my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? So we can really then find out whether this idea of reincarnation, because is he like the other Bob Marley? Is he in the same spirit as the other Bob Marley? That means he should be declaring that Hila Selassie I is God and King of Kings. He is the black Messiah, you know or Christ in his kingly character without apology. You see, that's, that's what we should be asking. But see, a lot of y'all are more concerned that, you know, um, he, he, he might have been involved in something with Tupac, right, and then the Tupac assassination or killing. Some might be concerned with when, when, when the Ethiopian boy was killed by one of his bodyguards or one of his, his, his people. You might not remember that thing that happened. You know, that's what he did, that, that murder was or something they gave me, blah, 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 right? Or some might be like, well, he did some videos where he had women, you know, shaking their booty in their backside and wiggling and jiggling it, right? And you say, oh, and some of the things they said was a little more hardcore. Maybe he lent out his music to some of the porno movies that some of you might have seen but don't want to admit, you know what I'm saying? But some of these things on the Internet. Yo, so, um, or is that he been making money, you understand, he got money, so forth and so on, and it's just that fact that he got money, and now he want to come, you know what it reminds me of, because if, if Snoop Lion is, is faithful and true, I mean, if he proves to be faithful and true, and we don't know, we're not saying, don't, don't say, oh, we're saying he's faithful and true, no, I'm saying if he proves to be, that's what the Bible said, don't judge something before it's time, aren't you a little premature? You understand? Don't be a preemie baby. Don't be a preemie baby roster. You understand? Don't, 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 let's not judge things before it's time. You understand? But, um, anyway, if he, if he proves to be, um, faithful and true, you understand, is that not a good, would that not be a good for others? Now, on the other hand, conversely, and vis-a-vis, if he proves to be a wolf in sheep clothing, maybe he's coming in the movement to provide some sort of dialectic, some, some, counter, some counter kind of conspiracy on a level. You know what I'm saying? The only kind of rosters that will go after it are those same rosters that have not been paying attention to the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ. See, so it, it, it's really test where do you stand. You think you stand? It says, check yourself out, least you fall. You know what I'm saying? Least you fall. Um, so so that's, that's one of the questions that we should really um, ask and put out there. You know what I'm saying? Actually, the main question, that's all we, we should want to know initially is, after all that has been said, Snoop Lion, some people say, how can he change his name to Lion? Oh, my goodness. The question is, how come you haven't changed your name from Babylonian, blah, 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 blah? <laughs> I mean, I mean, shouldn't that be the question? Shouldn't that be the real question? Why are you using your Rasta name as a nickname? And some even have baptismal name, and they still use the Babylonian surname. Do you really think you're going to inherit anything from Babylon besides death and hell and judgment? Do you really think so? So, so that, that's a mute that's a mute point as well. So we wanted just to put this, this part forward as, because uh, we already did a, next, uh, a previous vid, you know what I'm saying, a previous vid on Snoop going to Jamaica and, and filming the, the, um, the, you know, and the Bingy, Naya Bingy invited him in and he was, you know, fellowshipping or learning or, and even then some folks was like out of bounds. 
you know what I'm saying? And, and some of y'all actually think that Rastafari, and, and may God, may God forgive you, is so weak that even if this was a false dissembler, if Rastafari, not if, but as a Rastafari is true, have you not read that no weapon that is formed against I and I shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up in the judgment shall be condemned? For this is the what? This is the heritage. This is I and I heritage, people. You know what I'm saying? But the only ones that get afraid about this whole situation going on is those who are not really based on the roots of Rastafari. They've been building their house. They've been hearing the teaching of His Majesty, but they're not building their house on that foundation. So really they have no groundation. They're building on the sinking sand. So when the, when the gushing torrents and the wind and the rain comes in, it's going to beat their, their, their dibby-dibby house and it's going to bring it down to the ground. But this initial word and, you know, I, I mean, you know, one cannot speak ill of Rastafari and be of, like when Christ said, one can't be doing certain works, you understand, and then be against Christ. You know, saying they might be deceiving themselves. You know, saying some say, well, it's actually other people behind him.